Hey, this is Glenn from Heavy Metal Beats. We're going to check out two highs at another location and we're going to see how well they're doing. Okay, we're going to pop this hive open and see how they're doing. Now, you don't want to disturb the bees as little as possible disturb them. So, the front side of their entrance is on this side. I'm going to work towards the back towards the front so I'm not messing with them. So here's a cover. This is what they call the inner cover. Thank goodness they didn't put any cone on that. They like to cone that too. Now inside is what we call a super what they put their honey in. Doesn't look like a whole lot of action up here. Nope, they're just hanging out. This is called a queen extruder. This keeps the queen down where she needs to stay and lay her eggs, and that keeps the honey upstairs where they need to keep it for me. You can tell it's, this one's white, I mean a uh, yellow. It comes in white and other colors. Did they come closer? Mm -hmm. So in this hive is a trap. It's full of oil and the bees will chase the bad guys towards this and they think it's safe so they jump inside where it's not safe and they drown in oil. All natural so you don't have to worry about hurting the honey. Stuff like that. Now you always want to crack the end one first. This is that little corner I told you about, the little hook. Place it in the hive. You catch the frame a little bit. And you pull up one end, and you pull up the other end, and no one gets disturbed. The last thing you want to do is squish a bee. You take the next frame out, nice and gentle, see how they're working it. Both sides. While you're doing that, you want to make sure you're not messing with the queen. So work in the cone, work in the cone. Make sure there's no queen on that panel. I'm sort of putting them off to the side because I want a little extra room. Because there seems to be some dirt in there. Sometimes you want to help them out and keep the hive clean. Try it apart gently. And what I'm looking for is eggs and babies. And this is what I wanted to see. You can see there's babies right there. They're covered up. I don't see any more though. So they keep down on the mess. This is what I want to see. Nice pattern. Blow a little bit with your breath. They don't like heat. And there's all your babies. That's good pattern. It's all in one section. Nice 
the extra babies down at the bottom. They're very hard to see sometimes. We have babies on this side. All right, the girls are doing their job. So that means we shouldn't have to mess with this anymore. But I just want to do a quick little cross checking to make sure we don't have any little friends that are fuzzy like Mr. Mouse. Besides wood, they do make a plastic one, and that's how the plastic ones come out. This little guard down the side is to keep um, hive beetles and um, varroa mites from getting to the cone. That's someone's bright idea, and I think it works good. I wanted them to work on these frames more, so I'm moving them closer so it messes them up a little bit so they start to work on them. Check the spacings. Make sure be happy. There's a couple up that just came up. Say hi. Put a little trap back in. Once you get your queen extruder, you want to keep the queen downstairs doing her job. Inner cover. Outer cover. Okay, so we have accomplished checking out this hive. We assume, um, we checked out to make sure there's a laying queen by seeing eggs fresh and capped. And there's a good amount of bees living here. So that is all for this hive. We'll be checking that in our next segment. So have a nice day from Heavy Metal Bees. Don't forget to look me up online. So it's Heavy Metal Bees, uh, H-V-Y-M-T-L-B-E-E-S dot org. And see you next time.